Hi, I'm Muto. Fortitude Valley is amazing. I mean, especially for like something like Big Sound where you've got just so many artists in one small space and so many venues, you know, literally across the road from each other, all doing different kind of sounds and different things. I think it's a huge hub for music and creatives and, you know, food. I like the fact that it's kind of like a a, you know, a bigger version of King's Cross, less seedy, but still, you know, got everything that you want here. And um, I think the Valley would have to be my number one recommendation, to be honest, for Brisbane. It's just got such a, you know, high impact kind of vibe here. There's so much shit going on, so it's great. Okay, so three acts that I'm super enjoying right now. So you got Arn, who I've gone on tour with me, and um, yeah, I heard his music uh, maybe a year and a half ago. Um, he only had one song on his uh, Spotify, but I was really excited by it. It was really, really highly well produced. And um, so that was kind of the reason as to why I got him on tour with me and just think that he's got some great production skills. So I'm super excited to see where he goes. Uh, you got Fote, who's from the States, and he has been one that I've been watching for a while now. Um, he hasn't really like just blown up, but I'm kind of, I think he's, Super impressive. He's got some really interesting sound design. Uses a lot of you know, weird instruments that he's collected from parts of the world, um, and just has a really interesting way of you know approaching a song. So he's one that I'm super excited to see what he comes out with next. Christopher Port, um, uh, Aussie dude, and he's been making music for a while, um, and he just released a really really amazing EP. Um, and it's super underrated. I don't think it's really kind of hit the big time yet, but I think that he's got some incredible um, production as well and a great musical ear. Um, I love his chord progressions. I think they're right on the money as to where I like, you know, kind of a little bit melancholic, kind of minor keys and stuff like that. And I think, um, I think you can expect for him to blow up a lot um, after this EP release. It's really, really good, so yeah.